my name is Erica Sherliff, and today I'll be talking about animal behavior welfare in zoos and if it's a practical measurement. Zoos offer unique experiences that allow individuals to get up close and observe wildlife in a resemblance of their natural habitat. By mimicking their natural habitats in the wild, it encourages a natural behavior. The behavior is a key factor to measuring the welfare of an animal. Animal welfare is defined as the well-being and health state of the animal. If proper animal welfare is absent within the zoos, certain types of behaviors will be observed, such as displacement, redirected, and self-displacement. Displacement behavior is the release of energy into irrelevant tasks when the desired behavior cannot be completed. In this example, we have a Bengal tiger pacing back and forth. These types of behaviors become present when highly motivated behaviors and or tasks are removed from their lives. These highly motivated behavior and or tasks include things as foraging, nesting, and bathing. Redirected behavior is the direction of behavior towards a third party or inanimate object. In this example, we have a giraffe chewing on its bars. This is known as cribbing. These types of behaviors should be noted in the assessment of their welfare because it could mean that they have a low social interaction with others in the enclosure or they do not have the proper enrichment needed. Our last behavior we're going to be looking at today includes self-displacement behavior. Just like displacement behavior, it is done when irrelevant tasks are permitted when the desired tasks cannot be done. However, these tasks are now done on oneself. In this example, we have the feather plucking of this macaw. These are important behaviors to watch for when analyzing their welfare because that poses a destructive risk to the animal themselves now. While tasks, while these behaviors are part of everyday life, they become a risk to the welfare of the animal when they are done above average. Therefore, Tracking the behavior frequency as it occurs and how long they persist gives a practical insight into the well-being and health state of the animal. Thank you. I am now prepared to take questions.